10 Worst Cities to Live in Texas Texas is almost as large as several Western European countries and even larger than some countries. The state has areas like the Hill Country, Texas Hill Country, Texas Hill Country South, Texas Hill Country North, Texas Hill Country West, and Texas Hill Country East. Although Texas is considered one of the safest states, its crime rates are higher than those of other states in America. Some of these cities have no good reputation regarding unemployment, traffic, education, family life, and health among other indices of quality of life. Let's devote this video to the discussion of these 10 worst cities to live in Texas. Number 10. Cleveland We begin with Cleveland in Northeast Texas. The city of close to 8,000 residents in Houston, the Woodland Sugar Land metropolitan area, and Liberty County is one of the worst cities to live in Texas. This city has one of the lowest median household incomes of 87,600, which is the 76th worst. Subsequently, some 17.1% of the city's population lives below the poverty line. The city, according to a report, has a greater percentage of people without jobs in the state. Due to the heavy traffic in Cleveland, it has one of the highest driving times to work. Also, the number of crimes committed, according to statistics, is the 32nd highest in the state. Number 9. Rio Grande City Rio Grande City, with its population of just over 17,000 people, is in the South Texas region. This city, in the county seat of Starr County and 41 miles west of McAllen, is one of the 10 worst cities to live in Texas on our list. If you ask me, I will say no to a city with a U.S. record high temperature of 108 degrees Fahrenheit. More seriously, however, are its median home value of just $79,613 and its median family income of just $34,311, the 49th lowest. Which means living in Rio Grande City means living in penury. It also has the 27th highest violent crime rate in Texas with 11 0.2%. Number 8. Killeen Killeen, a college town with a population of about 160,000, is the 19th most populous city in Texas. The city, which is the largest of the three cities in Bell County, has a heavy military presence. As it can be seen in our videos about the cities in Texas you should never move to, Killeen is one of the worst cities to live in Texas. Besides that, the city's medium home value and the unemployment rate of 11.5% and 6.2% of the state respectively are not encouraging. The military presence in this city has not lowered its crime rate. If anything, it makes it one of the worst places to live or raise a family. Number 7. Belmead Belmead, a city in McLennan County, which is a part of the Waco Metropolitan Statistical Area, is the next on this of the worst places to live in Texas. It is a city with a large population of wealthy, educated professionals. Belmead is a hotbed of crime. It has been appearing on many lists of the most dangerous cities in the state for years now. And crime has only got worse in this city. Still on the issue of crime, it is so common in this city that 74 out of 1,000 people are victims of crime. The average income level of $47,854 for homeowners does not paint a picture of a good city to live in. Number 6. Hutchins Hutchins is located in Dallas County. In the past, the city has been the center of many community events, but it is now one of the worst cities to live in Texas. The ability to commit a crime is much higher in Hutchins than in most other places in Texas. It is also an educational disadvantaged city, with only one college and one high school. The city isn't a major hub for transportation, which makes the traffic situation particularly poor. The median home value, which is $78,200 in this city, is the 48th worst. In addition, the unemployment rate of 9.6% is the 24th worst. Residents of Hutchins are the victims of the 29th highest number of crimes in Texas. These figures show that this city is a very crummy place to live. Number 5. Amarillo The city of Amarillo, Texas's fourth largest city with a population of over 200,000, has its daily population increase in arithmetic retrogression. 
It is unfortunately one of the 10 worst cities to live in Texas. The city's crime rates of 5.7 per 10,000 residents and the violent crime rate of 136% above the national average show that it is one of the worst cities to live in Texas. The living costs in Amarillo, which are a bit lower than the national average in this city, are nothing to gloat about because it is due to the high crime rates that are driving people out of this place. Number 4. El Paso this city, in the county seat of El Paso County, is located in the far southwestern part of the state of Texas. The city, with the most recent population figure of 678,815, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, is the 23rd largest city in the United States and the 6th largest in Texas. It is one of the worst cities to live in Texas. El Paso is one of the poorest cities in the entire U.S. based on income level. This is the main con of the city, so the low crime rate, largely due to underreporting, is characteristically El Paso's. It also lacks basic amenities and access to good health care. 3. Port Arthur Port Arthur, a city in Jefferson County within the Beaumont-Port Arthur metropolitan area of Texas, is the next. This city, with a small, uninhabited portion extending into Orange County, is 90 miles east of Houston. Forbes recently reported that this city is the worst place in Texas for getting a job. Port Arthur has a population of around 125,000 and an unemployment rate of 14%. This naturally leads to a surge in the crime rate. Thus, the violent crime rate in this city is 777.8 per 100,000 people, which is about 100.56% higher than the national rate and 74.21% higher than the Texas violent crime rate. Number 2. Galveston Galveston, an island city found on the Gulf Coast of Texas, known for its moody gardens of giant glass pyramids house, is a city with a population of 48,352. It can't afford to miss our list of the worst cities to live in Texas because of its economy and crime. The household income is too low in the city, at $37,770, according to an unofficial figure. It is not an attractive place to live given the fact that the right home vacancy rate is as high as 38%. In fact, about a third of the homes in this city are unoccupied. The unemployment rate in Galveston is more than twice the state's rate. Number 1. Humble Humble is located in the eastern part of Texas with its humble population of 15,864. It is about 60 miles south of Houston and one of the fastest growing cities in the state. As humble as the name sounds, everything in Humble is not according to that name, as we insinuated in one of our videos. Humble is the most crime-ridden city in Texas, and it stands as the 45th worst place to live in the state. Per capita income in the city is $12,217, which is the 49th worst. And the unemployment rate is 7.4%, which is the 45th worst. And the median home value is $122,900. Is there any other city that you think we missed or that should not be on this list? Please let us know how you feel in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.